In this problem about adding forces, we have a person pulling a 10 kilogram box across a horizontal surface. Um, they're pulling with a force of 300 newtons, uh, which is directed at 30 degrees above the horizontal. Uh, and we're told that there's a force of friction of 100 newtons. Now, later uh, in this uh, unit, we'll learn more about how to calculate the uh, force of friction from the pop properties of the box and the surface. But for now, we'll just take that force as given. Uh, and we want to know basically everything there is to know about this box. What is the normal force? What is the net force? And what is the box's acceleration? So the first thing to do um, with a force problem is always to draw the free body diagram. And even before we do that, we can pick our axes. So in this case, we can use the uh, common choice of positive x points to the right and positive y points up. Okay, so uh, in our free body diagram, our picture is just a dot. And then we have the pulling force, which is up and to the right. Um, and we have the force of gravity, which always points down. Now, we can write that as F sub g. Um, I often just go ahead and write that that's equal to mg. That's the mass of the object times the acceleration due to gravity. We know that's the uh, how we calculate the force of gravity on an object. And then we have friction. Now, uh, friction is a uh, dissipative force. It always opposes motion. And so we know that because the person is pulling somewhat to the right, the force of friction is going to point to the left. So, oh, And friction is always parallel to the surface, right? so it points to the left. Um, now, those were all the forces that were uh, named in the problem. But uh, we, there's kind of a hint in the first question. It asks about the normal force. So because the box is uh, resting on a surface, we don't have to be told that there's a normal force. Um, but it's going to be there. And the normal force always points perpendicular. And so that's just F sub n, the normal force. And in this case, the is going to point upward because that's perpendicular to the surface that the box is resting on. Okay, so now um, the, the purpose of, of making a free body diagram is to allow us to um, use Newton's second law. So Newton's second law is the law that has uh, an equation associated with it. And that was that F net, which is a vector, is equal to the mass of the object times its acceleration, which is also a vector. So because that's a vector, it can... Uh, then be broken down into x and y components. And usually the way we mathematically want to deal with vectors is to deal with their components separately. So I can say that f net, just looking at the um, x components, is going to be equal to the mass of the object times its acceleration in the x direction. And f net in the y direction is going to be equal to the mass of the object times its acceleration in the y direction. Now, looking at this problem, we're told that the um, object um, moves along the surface. Right, so what that tells me is that it's not that the person's not pulling hard enough to lift it off of the uh, surface, and and we can check to be sure about that uh, later. But if the person's not lifting it off the surface and it's not crashing through the surface, then there's no acceleration in the y direction. So we can just say f net and y; those components are going to have to balance each other out. And then because there's no acceleration in the y direction, there's really no need for the subscript. So I can just drop that uh, a sub x and just call that the acceleration. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, vertical direction first. So if I say in the y direction, this uh, and the reason why we want to do that first is that the first part of the problem asks us to find the, the normal force. So we look at our free body diagram, and any of the forces that point in the vertical direction, so I can say F net in the y direction, and I usually don't write an equal sign, I write an arrow, um, because I know that I have to um, write down the force components and then set them equal to something else. Okay, so uh, anything that points up, is going to give me um, a positive value, and anything that points down is going to be negative. So normal force points up, that's positive. Force of gravity points down, that's negative. Uh, but now I've got this pushing force, which doesn't point, uh, which points somewhat up, but not all the way. Right? It's uh, we, that means we have to break it into components. So if I go back and look at my free body diagram, I can say, well, there's going to be. Sometimes I like to go back and add these uh, components to the free body diagram itself, and so I know there's going to be FPX, an X component, and a Y component, FPY. So now having put that back in my free body diagram, a lot of times I like to use dotted lines or, um, or a different color if I can uh, to show that they're components and not separate forces themselves. Um, so now I can say that the, the Y component of the pu uh, pulling force is positive. It points up. So I can write plus F P Y. And that is going to be equal to MA in the Y direction, but that's just zero. Okay, so now uh, what I want to do with this equation is solve it for the normal force. Right, so I can just uh, move these other force components to the other side. So that's going to give me normal force is equal to the force of gravity uh, minus the y component of the pulling force. Okay, so do I know these other things? Well, the force of gravity, that's just mg, right? So I, I know those quantities. I can calculate that. And for the um, y component of the pulling force, I need to do some trig. Right, so our angle that we were given is this theta here. So... Um, the x side is the adjacent side. The y component is the opposite side. So that tells me that fp sub y is going to be equal to fp times the sine 
of theta. So now I have an equation for the normal force. That's normal force is equal to mg minus fp sine of theta. And my mass was 10 kilograms. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, minus, so the, the pulling force was 300 newtons. Oops. And then we have sine of 30 degrees. So this term is 980 newtons. And then this is going to be uh, 300 times the sine of 30, which is 150 newtons. So that gives me uh, 830 newtons is the normal force. Okay, so that was, that was part A that asked for the normal force. Now, part B was, uh, what is the net force? So we already, found the y, uh, we already know the y component of the net force is zero. Um, so we need to see if there's any x component of, of that force. So we go back and look at our free body diagram, and we say in the x direction, we have, um, so F net in the x direction is the x component of the pulling force, and then... Uh, and that points in the positive x direction to the right. And then to the left, we have a force of friction. And that's going to be equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, so for this part of the question, we're just asked what the net force is. Um, so we can leave, a part, uh, leave aside the acceleration part. So um, the pulling force there, again, the, to break into components, that's going to be Fp times the cosine of 30 degrees. And then minus the 100 newtons, which was the friction force. So that's F net in the x direction. So um, the pulling force magnitude is 300 newtons times the cosine of 30 degrees. And then we do minus 100 newtons. Um, so 300 times cosine of 30 is 260 newtons, rounding to three sig figs, and then minus 100 newtons. So that means that our net force in the x direction is going to be 160 newtons. Okay, so to answer the question of what's the net force, it's 160 newtons. Uh, pointing to the right. And then finally, our last question is, what is the acceleration? Well, we, we said that F net X was F P sub X minus F sub F equals M A. Right, so if we uh, take that net force and we calculate the acceleration, that's going to be equal to, uh, we just divide both sides by the mass, so that's going to be um, F P X minus F sub F over the mass. Okay, so we already calculated that force was 160 newtons. The mass was 10 kilograms. So that gives us an acceleration of 16 meters per second squared. All right, so that's a pretty big acceleration. That's uh, bigger than the acceleration due to gravity. So this person is, is really uh, pulling hard on that, on that box.